So, Angeal, what's the deal with dumb apples? The official name is Benora White. The trees bear fruit at random times during the year. Because of that, the townspeople affectionately call them dumb apples. The local farms had plenty of them to spare. Oh, really? So you stole them? We were poor, Zack. Nice excuse. But even then, I had my honor. The largest Benora white tree grew on a wealthy man's estate. It was rumored that those apples tasted the best. But I never stole from that tree because the wealthy man's son was my friend. If he was a friend, you should have just asked for some. Honor can be quite a burden at times. And what exactly does this have to do with me? No story is not worth hearing. <laughs> what? That's it? <sighs> yeah, well, thanks a lot. Angel is the protagonist on PSP game Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. He was the mentor of Zack and the original owner of Buster Sword. Before the events of Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII, there was a woman named Jillian Healy who worked with Dr. Hollander in the experiment called Project Jillian or Project G. Project Jillian is a branch of Genova Project that is performed by Shinra to create a Setra human hybrid. Setra for those who are new to the lore are believed to be ancient race of people that has deep connection in nature. Now let's go back to the story. Hollander establishes Project G using the Genova infused DNA of a department employee Jillian or Jill. Or Jill since she was still not married to Timothy Hioli, Angel's stepfather, to map onto a developing fetus. In early spring, the child is born, a healthy baby boy with the ability to create clones, but not to absorb traits. The child, given the name Genesis, is declared a failure and given over to the landlord of Manora, which can be explained since Jillian was in direct contact of Genova cells while Genesis was only via Jillian cells. Though Angel was successful, he does not have the Sephiroth-like powers. The only difference he has on Genesis is that he did not degrade and his wings are white while Genesis is black. It is also assumed that Dr. Hollander is Angel's father. After her mother gave birth to him, they live in Benora village together with his stepfather. Angel is considered to be the success of Project G, with the ability to make clones of himself and absorb traits from the others. But ultimately, Shinra favors Hojo's Project S than Project G. Project G is abandoned, while Hollander does visit on occasion to check on the boys. Genesis and Angel are allowed to live relatively normal lives in Banora. Timothy Hilly has made a variety of toys for his son over the years, but his son's favorite was to play Sword, which has remade a few times over as he grew. He joined Soldier together with Genesis and they became friends. They also made friends with Sephiroth. During the training session, Genesis challenged Sephiroth and he was slightly wounded, however his wounds does not heal. Hollander treats him and needs an infusion of blood from another G-type soldier which is only in Jill. Genesis was sent to Wutai for a mission, however he disappeared. Angel and Zack are sent along to investigate. Their mission is also to help bring an end to their war. Angel tells Zack of dumb apples, which is also called Banora White. The apples ripen randomly throughout the year. When he was a kid, there was this large tree outside of the house of the richest family on the village, but he would never take an apple from the tree since the rich family's son was his best friend, which is Genesis. Zack and Angel meet up with Lazard, however they are attacked by Genesis copies. Angels handle the copies while Zack protected Lazard. Angel tells Zack to take Lazard to safety, but when Zack returns, 
Angel is gone. Angel pretends to leave Shinra and tries to regain Genesis' trust so he can knock some sense into him and bring him back. Two months later, Zack and Chang investigated Angel and Genesis' hometown. Zack finds Jillian Hewley dead and Angel staring at his mother's lifeless body. Now, for those of you who do not know, Angel did not kill his mother. Jillian killed herself when she found out that Angel knew about the experiment. Four months later, a raid occurred. Zack confronts Hollander but was stopped by Angel. Angel then revealed his wings to Zack and told him his motives were world domination and revenge since that was the objective of the monsters like him. Zack refuses to fight. Angel sends him falling down the Midgar slums. Angel appears on Sector Zero and confronts Zack, though this time he changes sides. He asks Zack to join him as their enemy is all that creates suffering. Zack heads to check on Professor Hojo. Hojo was about to be captured by Genesis when Angel appears. Hojo was surprised to see both Angel and Genesis' wings. Angel pursues Genesis. Dr. Hollander enters the scene and instructed Angel to get revenge for their family. Angel asks Zack if he remembers the promise, which is to fight anything that causes suffering in the world. He then summons several copies and uses it to turn himself into a chimera named Angel Penance, whom Zack is forced to destroy. Angel dying tells Zack that he is counting on him to do the rest and entrusts the Buster Sword to Zack. Zack, you have my thanks. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> Protect your honor. Always. <gasps> Embrace your dreams. If you want to be a hero, you need to have dreams and honor. Lazard had received angel cells and become an angel copy, gifted not only with angel's physical appearance but with his morals and sense of justice. Lazard did not receive angel's strength nor his immunity from degradation and has been deteriorating like Genesis. So that is the story of Angel Healy. I hope you like it and watch out for the top facts about Angel Healy on the next video. Thank you for watching and you rock.